Hello everybody! In this video I'm going to show you how to connect a joystick to a computer with a Windows operating system. Hello friends! If you need to recover deleted data, view or restore removed browsing history, Hetman Software Products will help you. Follow the link in the description, download the necessary program for free, install it and analyze the disk. The utility will show you the data you can recover, so you'll be able to view it or get it back. In our channel and blog you will find solutions to any problem, from installing an operating system or configuring it to fixing possible bugs and errors or optimizing mobile gadgets. Our specialists will answer any questions you ask in your comments under the videos or articles. Many modern games are designed to be played with original gamepads that come supplied with Xbox One or Xbox 360. If you are using an inexpensive Chinese joystick, playing modern games could be impossible without installing some additional software. That's because original gamepads use the X input software protocol, while others still rely on the older protocol direct input. There are also models that can switch between uh, the two standards, and they usually have a dedicated button for this function. If you want to connect an old joystick to a computer and play new games, you'll have to use a special utility – Xbox 360 Controller Emulator, which can make the system recognize any game controller as an Xbox-compatible device. This is a free tool, and you can download it from the official website by following the link below this video. There are two versions of the emulator – 32-bit and 64-bit. If you are using a 64-bit operating system, you should use the corresponding version of the emulator. This utility works in Windows 10, 8 and 7. You can watch one of our videos to see how to learn the bitness of an operating system, and you can find the link in the description. Download the program, open the archive and extract the files. It's better to create a new folder for this purpose. Connect the gamepad to the computer and wait until the operating system recognizes it and installs a suitable driver. You can check it by opening the device manager and trying to find a device with the name of your gamepad model, something like generic USB joystick, USB gamepad, etc. If it wasn't recognized in the device manager, look for a suitable driver online. Run the utility as administrator, because if you run it by just double-clicking, emulator settings may not be saved, so the necessary files will not be created in the directories where they should. If you start the application and see an error saying that the model is not found, it means your computer misses some system libraries and needs the latest version of NET framework. When the utility starts for the first time, you'll be suggested to create a DLL file. Click Create. The Settings window will open. Click Next and then Finish. When you connect another gamepad model, this window will appear again. In all other cases, you can download settings from the Internet in the window Controller Settings – Most popular settings for my controllers. You can connect up to four devices, and there is a dedicated tab for each one – controller 1, 2, 3 and 4. Different gamepads may have the same name in your operating system, so if you use automatic button settings, some buttons may get confused. You can check it by pressing a button and seeing how it is represented on the virtual gamepad. If it is displayed incorrectly, select a corresponding cell here and click Record, then press the button. When the setup is complete, click Save for the system to remember the settings. You can configure how sticks respond to your fingers by changing the sensitivity settings in the tabs Left Thumb and Right Thumb. And that's all with the settings. Click Save if you haven't done it yet and close the program. In the folder with the extracted file, two new elements will appear, and you should copy them to the root folder of the game. Otherwise, specify the path to the game. In the tab Game Settings, click Add and show the path to the folder containing the game. Then check the game version here – 32-bit or 64-bit – depending on what you have installed.
The following elements may be difficult to deal with because you will have to use the trial and error method to find the right settings. Start with comp line and go one by one. Don't forget to save the settings after every change you made and restart the game. Alternatively, you can look up your game in the compatibility list. Find the link in the description below this video. After all that, start the game and check if the gamepad responds properly. If it still doesn't work in the game, try to download the better version of this utility. In my case, the gamepad worked properly in NFS Payback game only with a better version. The better version is even easier to configure. Click Add Game and specify the path to the folder containing the game's executable file. If you don't know the location for such folder, right-click on the game shortcut and select Properties. You will find the path in the line target. Now it's time to add the device. Click Add, choose the gamepad and click OK. The only thing left to do is to configure the buttons. You can do it manually or automatically by clicking the Auto button here. To save all the changes, click Save All. In this version, unlike the previous one, you don't need to close the emulator, but just minimize it to the system tray. If you close it, the gamepad will not work in the game. So minimize the utility and start the game. As you can see, the game asks you to press A button instead of Enter. The game recognizes the controller and it responds properly. That's all. Now you can play without a keyboard, but with a gamepad. You can see the menu shows the gamepad buttons and not the keyboard buttons. You don't have to configure gamepad buttons again for another game. Just click Load Preset and select the settings you have chosen before. And that is all for now. I hope you liked this video. Hit the like button and subscribe to our channel. Leave comments to ask questions. Thank you for watching and good luck!